when we hear the word gospel, and we understand that the word gospel simply means good news. And uh, the good news is the fact that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to become flesh and become one of us here as humans living on this earth. And then he lived a life without sin, and then he becomes the sacrificial lamb on the cross of Calvary. And he gives his life so that his precious untainted blood would be applied on the mercy seat of God that would bring grace to those of us who are incapable of living a sinless life. Jesus Christ becomes the sacrifice for my sin and your sin, and that's the good news. But here's the thing that we have to consider. This good news has to do with people, humanity, to receive this reality that where you were destined to eternity in the damnations of hell, now you have the wonderful, bright, beautiful hope of crossing over into eternity into a glorious place called heaven. In this place that we call heaven, there is much happiness and joy. And see, that's good news for all humanity. When a person comes to that reality that they are spiritual, they live in a spiritual world, and they can relate with a spiritual God. We call that the born-again experience. You're changed. You're not the same person anymore. You don't see life the, thing, the, the, the same. You don't live your life the same. Because now you've gone from a carnal perspective to a spiritual perspective. We well, see, when a person has gone through that type of transformation, and they realize just how dangerous a life they were living and how close they were to going into the eternity in darkness. When they come to that reality, it causes a, a joy to spring up in your heart and you, and you have to rejoice and you go, wow, look what I escaped from. Well, this causes us to, us to think about he who made all of this possible. And of course, that's Father God who allowed his son to come and, and uh, do the work of redemption here on this earth through the work and the beautiful power of the Holy Spirit. Well, then this would give us a heart to say, hey, if I've experienced this and I have come to this knowledge, what about my friend here? He's still in darkness. He's still living in a carnal world. And, and, and if he doesn't come to the same understanding that I've come to, he is going to go to hell. Well, that should just grip our hearts with great sorrow and cause us, uh, I've got to do something about this. So thus becomes the heart. The heart that would say, I want to serve my brother because I want to reveal to him the knowledge that I have received so that he too would have the same truth in his heart that I have in mine. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.